Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a vlog that you will never, ever forget. And I really mean this because my car was hit by a fucking fire truck. But I guess I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Y'all, a fire truck just hit my fucking car. Oh my God, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Literally, they hit my car. Oh my God, sir. Can you? Period. Your girl is on her way to Brooklyn, New York. I am going to meet with one of my besties to do a joint content day. We have a collaboration with the brand and I'm so excited because I feel like me and Rachel are like perfect opposites. So it's so nice to like collaborate with someone who's a creator, but also has like the same mindset as me, you know what I'm saying? So I am so excited for today. Um, I did stop, get some coffee, something to eat, and we're on our way out. I'm trying like this new refresher thing. It has like strawberry like balls at the bottom and coconut milk. Mmm, that is good. That's so good. I was going to get the regular lemonade one. And that one hits the freaking spot. All right, so let's go for our drive. She can't pee. We're upside down. You look so pretty. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I feel really pretty. Every time I like get in a camera with you, I look so much darker. Because I am so pale. But the light picks you <laughs> up. Like, I look tan. You do. Wait, wait, maybe I really am just I am. She's been trying holding her pee for 35 minutes. I'm so pale. Yeah. I but look, look up I'm close real quick. Look at our noses. Look. Oh, yeah. I look You look good. Pretty. You need a camera. I know. Send me the link to this. I thought I did. Did I not? I probably didn't. I don't think so. I want you to get... Because remember I said to you, I was like, send me the link. Then you need permission off Which one? It. You want Roar style? You want Amazon? You want... <laughs> Which one? Where are you getting it? Best Buy? Or are you getting it from Amazon? Probably Amazon. Amazon. Okay, yeah. Send me it. Okay. All right, guys, I made it. Period. <laughs> I did a look, quick little vlog in the car. Get out. Get out. Bye. She'll never pee. We'll never get work done. All right, guys, you're probably wondering why I'm not wearing any clothes. So I told you guys we had a collaboration um, that we're working on, but I made it to Brooklyn. You guys have seen the studio multiple times, and if you haven't, this is what it looks like. Um, also, guys, Again, welcome to a new vlog. Subscribe to the channel, like my videos, so that way I can kind of have a guide on what you guys like and what you don't like. Because if I continue to vlog and you guys don't even like it, then what's the point? So I am setting up um, this little corner for content because I like the corner. I think corners have been doing really well on social media. Um, and we're gonna be wearing like twin outfits. So uh, yeah, we're gonna also do like a day in the life, like going out as friends together so yeah we're on the grind i'm so excited today so um this um outfit i really like this from shape room it's really cute um i have like period underwears underneath though because you know i don't know what's going on with her i don't know if i have my period if i don't have my period so i like to be safe rather than sorry but i love these bando bras from shape room it, and this is like their shaper panty but I'll link everything in the description box, y'all. So let me go ahead and set you guys up. I'm really not setting you guys up. I'm setting us up for the video that we're doing. So I will see you guys in a bit. Period. Oh my God, that Starbucks drink. So good, it was so freaking good. We just finished doing our first video. We have 18,000 videos to go. I think <laughs> this video- Not my bra. Yeah, my I stepped on it. I said, uh. The video that I I'm just, going to do now is more for like Rachel. <laughs> I think I just moved because, the camera. Yeah? I bet I'm going to pick up the trash. Well, sorry camera. We got a show. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to do like another, you know, a couple more things. So we'll get behind the scenes. Perfect. Is my camera in your thing? Perfect. Um, let me see. If it is, then. No, it's perfect. Alright, perfect. So, so I just want a little... Okay. Do you want to run into the camera and be excited? Or do you want yes, to already be the camera? Yes, love it. So right. I'm going to assume that this is like not... I'm thinking run to here. Run to here. Be like, oh my, god. Not in oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Wait. Do it again. What's, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we like run in. <gasps> ready? That's not too cheap, One, right? two, ready, and... I forgot what the other one Maybe was. Maybe just a little faster. All right. So, <laughs> run in. 
Okay, one, two, ready, and... Ah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ready? ready? But I the speed. Ready? One, two, ready, and... <laughs> okay, I forgot to look at the camera, but I looked at you. Nobody knows me like you do, nobody. Get it, girl? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'll go right there. And I'll, I'll cheat out. That's what it's called. Cheating cheat out. out. Okay. Because when you're on stage. So be like... Because usually when you talk it's like this, but when you're on stage it's like that. That's the audience. Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Ready? One, two, ready, and... That might have been it. I think that was really That was so actually. cute. I broke my neck though. I heard a crack. You heard that? Hey guys, so we just, we not finished with the content, but we're working on it, and we're at lunch now. Look how good this looks. I got a, I'm supposed to be vegan, but I got vegan, so there's that. <laughs> she got the same thing, and then it's time. Yes, this salad dressing is so freaking good. And this latte, it's like not too sweet, but sweet enough. Lemonade, also. Period. <laughs> Give me a little. Wait. My lips are dry. I don't Can think I brought lip gloss. Yeah. You can use mine. Oh, cute. I wasn't expecting it to be that cute. Okay, so why do you always do everything cuter than me? No, I do not. You do. Okay, guys. Me and Rachel are done. Um, I just got in my car and I realized now I'm going to be stuck in traffic because I'm leaving during rush hour, which is going to be a hot freaking mess. But you know what? It's all worth it in the end. Um, so I'm in my car now. Lunch was really, really good. It took a long time for us to get a lot of content. But the thing about me and Rachel is that we talk and chat a lot. So sometimes it's like hard to get through everything we want to get through. Uh, but it still is like a good time, good vibes. If you ever want to be like in social media... It takes a lot of effort. It's not like what you think. It's not about just taking cute little videos all the time. Sometimes it takes hours to make sure you get the perfect shot, right? So I'm very pleased about the work that we did today. Um, so, God, it's hot in this car. I didn't turn on my car because I'm in New York. And the moment you turn on your car, people are, like, wanting your parking space. So I'm trying to just, like, not give the vibes that I'm leaving. But I'm about to head home. I do have a house sit which means I have to walk a dog today, or it's more of like a check-in. It's not really a house sit, it's a check-in. So I'm checking in on an animal, but today was so much fun. I love Rachel so much. Don't forget to follow her. She is at Rachel K. Grimm, easy enough to remember. Love the girl to death. Um, so let's head home. Y'all, a fire truck just hit my fucking car. Oh my God, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Truck 239, a fire truck 239. Literally, they hit my car oh my god sir Can you... did you see that oh my god what's your names i need witnesses because i don't know yeah um i'm gonna cry i just want to record it because like i'm afraid that they're gonna be like it wasn't us i saw it. all right the, the fire truck went Pass and it, like, I pulled over, right? Highway. I pulled over, and, and the bus wasn't pulling over. And the bus did not pull over, and it hit my car. It was two, three, nine. Yeah. F D. What is it? F D N Y. Yeah. Like, what street are we on? Thank you so much. What's your name? Lila. Lila and Kai. Kai. We saw it though. Do you have social media? I'll just like follow. There's all this space on this side, and then they oh, fucked no. up my car. I won't be want to cry, no, but I don't know if I should call the cops. Like, I don't know what to do yeah, now. I don't, like, I don't know what you should do. Do you have, like, insurance? I do, but they're responsible for it. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I would talk to my mom. Oh, they literally <laughs> sideswiped my car. <laughs> like, so mad. I literally, like, how much space do they need? They had all this space. Yeah, they definitely did not need Yeah, watch out, watch out, watch out. They just did so much. Yeah, Thank you. I'm just gonna thank you for helping me. Yeah, I'm just gonna. It was a fire truck, right? Yeah. Yes. Two, three, nine. Yeah. FDNY. Yes. They hit my car. It wasn't my fault. No. You pulled over. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Y'all, I'm so frustrated right now. Like, I called 911. Now I'm just waiting. I'm literally just waiting. 
until the police come, which I don't know when that's going to be because. So basically what happened was just so you guys know, because you're probably like, what the fuck? I was sitting in my car. I was driving home. Like I got off and I started driving because I was like, OK, I'm not going to I'm going to stop vlogging. I'm going to drive home, start driving home. And then a fire truck, I can hear it from far. I, as soon as I see it in my rear view, I pull, I pull over. I pull over like 30 seconds before they're even anywhere close to me. And then there's a school bus in front. And they try to squeeze between me and the school bus. And they scrape, they sideswipe the whole side of my car. And luckily, like, I was able to get, like, witness testimony. Because I was like... Like, everybody saw the whole thing happen, and then I started running down the street. Did anybody see that? Because I just felt like if I didn't get someone to say that they saw it, that they wouldn't believe me. So I'm just so frustrated because <laughs> I am just couldn't believe that it happened. So I'm just waiting. I'm just so mad. I'm just waiting for cops to come. <laughs> and then, like, state troopers keep popping up next to me, and there is, like, not the people who are meant to help me. I'm just sit sitting here like a sitting duck. And I don't know how long it's going to take because they have more pressing emergencies. And I have somewhere to be. Like, I'm mad. I'm so mad. So I guess, like, we'll just wait until they get here. And it's the fact that they just drove off. They didn't make sure I was okay or anything. They just went, didn't care if they could have hurt someone. They're lucky they didn't hurt me. Anyway, I'm just going to wait. Like, what else can I do? I could wait. And then I just want to make sure there's a police report and there's a record of this because... Like, I keep, my car keeps getting damaged in New York. Like, what the heck? Okay, guys, so the cops are here. Um, I'm just waiting, I guess, for their sergeant to see what they do. Because luckily I got the number of the truck. But, um, like, there is a camera right here that is, like, pointing out to the street. So hopefully they have, like, maybe some of the footage of what happened. Because luckily, like, my brain was just like, get the numbers on the truck. And 239 was the, the numbers. I was like, 239, 239. Like, as soon as I, like, pulled my camera out, that's what I did. All right, guys. So he just came to my car to just, like, ask me if I'm injured or anything. And I'm not injured. It's just that I didn't know what to do. Like, what do you do when someone hits you and you just are sitting here? And I know it was an emergency, so I'm, like, not so mad about it. But I, I was just, like, I didn't know what to do so i told him i was like i really just didn't know what to do like i don't know if i like would have should have left but i feel like a report is needed so they were like are you sure like you got the numbers of the truck i'm like i'm 100 sure it's 239 because that's the first thing i watched and paid attention to and how i well how would i randomly come up with this 239 right like they have to have one that had a report that came on the way here they had to have so I'm just glad I got witness testimony and stuff, but I'm gonna call my boyfriend and let him know what happened. I already called my dad, I already called Rachel, who I was with all day. It was so loud, like it moved my car. It's not so bad, the damage could be a lot worse, but it's all like body damage. So they're waiting for their supervisor, I guess because it wasn't just like a regular car. It was their, like, you know, they're all the same, like, NYPD and like FDNY is the same thing. So I guess, you know, we have to wait. Shout out to Kai for helping me get the footage. And what's your name? Steven. And Steven, because they did what was right. I'm so glad I did not leave because my man Kai, my witness, actually it was Lila who I got her Instagram and then he came back. He said, you're still here? Like it was me. Cause I forgot what he even looked like. Cause I was so stressed out. And then he was like, well, this is my building. Let's go ask. And the cops didn't even try. Okay. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go back to my car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have it all on 
camera. Okay, I love you guys. Um, I'll call you if anything. I can call this, like, do you have a phone number for this building? Yeah, this should be a My car was hit by a fire truck in New York, and this is the story of what happened from my perspective. First things first, I want to be very clear. I'm feeling fine right now. And second thing second, I have receipts. So for all the people saying that they don't believe that it happened, I was actually able to acquire video footage of the fire truck um, hitting my car, which I was able to acquire. The police was unable to acquire at the time. And I will give you guys a story of how I was able to acquire that. But for now, this is what happened. Um, long story short, there was a bus in front of me and I was behind the bus, a school bus to be clear, a yellow school bus. And I heard sirens happening around the town. So I knew something was happening, but there was no one behind me like at that time. So I wanna say like a minute later, um, I do see a fire truck coming down a block down. Like I could see this thing a mile away. So I had more than enough time to veer off to the right. So as soon as I noticed that the fire truck is coming behind me, I veer off to the right. But for some reason, the school bus pulls over to the left. And just to be clear, I'm on a one way street, but there are three lanes. There's two car lanes and a bike lane, but it's all one way. So we're almost at the end of the intersection where the light is. So legally you're supposed to veer off to the right and stay still until the emergency vehicle vehicle passes the school bus did not follow that the school bus veered off to the left i don't know if they needed to take a left i don't know if they didn't notice the fire truck but it only allotted the space between my car and the fire truck to get through so when the fire truck is passing by trying to squeeze through they end up side swiping me so this is the thing i'm in the vehicle at this time and i'm hearing the scrape the car is moving because obviously the fire truck is huge it could crush anything and i'm like ah, what do i do ah, like that's my immediate reaction because it, it was like slow motion so i want to address this i did pull out my phone first things first the reason why i pulled out my phone is because i knew that if i didn't get video footage of what had happened it would have been my word against theirs two the only thing next that came to mind is to look at the truck and see what numbers were on there the only thing i could see was 239 i knew it was truck number 239 so i had it in my mind but by the time i was able to get my phone out because i don't be texting and driving guys like i'm not that type of person by the time i was able to get my phone out to document what was happening that truck was long gone when i tell you that bad boy squeezed by me hit me and ran off that's exactly what happened so i was like in shock because i'm like my, my first instinct is like why did this not why didn't this truck make sure i'm okay you just hit a moving car you should have in my opinion they should have stopped and been like are you okay we have an emergency but are you good because we have somewhere to be that's what i think should have happened that's not what happened they just ran off um so I take out my camera and, I, and that's the clip that you see. Oh my God, a fire truck just hit my car. Like that's what you guys see. And then I start to run down the block because witnesses had saw what had happened. So my instinct is like, let me get witness testimony because at this point, if there's no video footage, it's my word versus theirs. So I go down, I'm running down the block and God bless Kai and Lila, okay? These kids, they were, I don't know how old they are, but they're younger than me. And I was like, hey like did you see that like that's what i was saying in the video and they're like we saw the whole thing and i and i put them on camera to be like can you just tell them what happened because right now like there's everybody's gone from the situation other than the witnesses there was a lot of witnesses on the street and they were like yeah she you know she moved over to the side and i have that video i can show you guys if you want of the witness testimony but i was kind of frantic so i'm the video camera's like ah and I was whining really bad, so it's really hard to get through because my voice is obnoxious during that. I'm literally whining so awfully. Like, I don't even want to share you guys that footage because I'm annoyed with myself. Anyway, I get witness testimony. She's like, good luck. I get her social handles. And then she's with Kai as well. And Kai's like, good luck. And they go off. I go back to my car. And my first instinct is to call my dad because I don't know if this is considered an emergency. Everybody's like, why don't why are you not calling 911 and not and going to TikTok? I posted that video way later, okay? 
And two, I did call 911, but I my hesitation was, is this really an emergency? I felt fine. My car just has like minor damage in the back. And clearly there's an emergency happening in the town. So my empathetic mind goes to, do I call 911? Is this considered an emergency? So my dad said, yes, call 911, blah, blah, blah. So I call 911 and they, you know, they take my address. And again, I'm like, hey, I don't know if this is considered an emergency, but a fire truck hit my car, uh, FDNY 239, whatever. I told them everything. So they're like, we're going to send over, you know, a unit. They sent a unit over. My car is, I don't move my car. Like the truck hits me um, and I pull over maybe an inch to the right more and put my car in a uh, park so that way i'm just out of i'm like in this bike lane so i know you're not supposed to leave the scene of the crime so the i'm sitting there with my blinkers on and the cops park across the street i don't know if they just can't see me um so i hop out my car i run to them and i say hey like are you on a 911 call for this and they were like yes so i take them to my car i sold them the situation and this is where my i my heart started pounding Cause at first I thought that like they were going to come and I felt like they were going to protect me and help me. But then I realized really quick, like FDNY and NYPD are like the same people. So I don't have any proof. And like I said, it's my word versus theirs. So they come, they're looking at it. They're really nice. I want to be very clear. The police officers were very kind. They were not, you know, rude or anything like that. They were like license and registration. I gave it to them. They looked at the car. Um, and what happened was, is they were like, we need to wait for our supervisor because we don't know what to do in this scenario. The officer said, usually if a, you know, if a fire truck hits you, they have to stop and make sure you're okay. I don't know if that matters in emergencies or not, but typically that's what they should have done. They should have made sure I was okay before going off to the next emergency because right then and there is now the new emergency, right? You're there already at that that scene. Maybe they didn't, I don't know what their thinking was, but they drove off. So they called the supervisor um, and I'm just, they were like, you can get sit in the car. I vlogged that whole thing of everything I was feeling because I post on other social platforms. And... Um, they come up to my car and they're like, we're going to wait for our supervisor, gave me an update. And then eventually the supervisor, another officer came. So now there's four officers and then there's me. And again, they're like, do you have any proof? Like, did you get anything on video? I was like, no. And they were like, I was like, I have witness testimony on my phone though. Like people who made a statement on my phone saying that they saw the whole thing. And he was like, it doesn't matter if they're not here to make a statement while you know we're at this crime scene it doesn't matter and I'm like well I can like text them and see if they'll they're around still because in my mind I'm like maybe they live in the building because I'm pretty sure they were going into like the apartment up there so I go on Instagram and I dm the girl and she's, no answer and I'm like oh my god like what am I gonna do there I don't have any witnesses here they're saying that my witness testimony on my phone is not valid because they're not here to make an actual statement and I'm like this so my worst fear is I'm like I feel like it's kind of, now it's like, okay, again, like if there, no one saw it or if there's no proof, it didn't happen, which is unfortunate. So I start to break down a little bit. I'm on the phone with my boyfriend and then they give me like a piece of paper with like, it was like an incident slip. I didn't have an incident number on there right away, but they said, they did say, give us some time. They're doing their investigation. They try to get the video footage because I said, there's a camera right there. They tried to get the video footage and they were unable to get the video footage. But your girl is NYPD, really. I'm really an intern for them because I did not leave the scene of the crime. They gave me the slip. They said, wait, we're going to give you an update in a, a day or two. Just chill out. I said, okay. I find a parking spot and I get out my car and I start buzzing all the buzz, all the apartments that, that, from that building that has the camera. Um, only one person answered. They said that they didn't have the number for the front desk. I said, okay, what are the chances that the witness that saw everything happen came back down and he was like, are you okay? And I was, at first I didn't recognize him. And then I was like, oh my God. He was like, it's me. I was, I was the witness. I was like, oh my God. Like, yes. Do you know who owns this business, this this building? And he was like, Hold, I'm going to go check for you. So guys, part two, I'll explain to you guys how I got the footage of the accident. But y'all, this is why you don't ever give up. Like you have to just keep going for what you need and what you want. Because if I would have just left, I don't know if I would have ever seen the accident footage. But part two, because I really am running out of time.
Okay, so this is at the same time. Just go back a little bit. 239, 239, same street, 403, 522. Yeah, this is the street. And they squeezed in right over there. Is there, is this 505 through 5? 505 for street. 501? 505 Court Street. 505 Court Street, they have an angle. Yeah. They have one on this side. Let's see if I can pull it up for you. Uh, what time is it exactly? I think it was 4.05, but we could just do 4.03 and just see. Okay, well let's see if the truck right. passes from here. There's the school bus. That's my car and they scraped oh. me. They scraped me, it's proof. Can you just go back just a little bit? Oh, wait, that's me. Yes. Oh. Look. Remember, you see? Yeah, the I fire that. truck came. Okay. The fire truck oh, came. Bus Let's see if it's coming from here. Um, the, the bus went to the left instead of, look, that's me. I'm like, okay, I'm going to pull over. They're coming. I pull over to the right. Right? And then the bus, just wait, just wait. I hear the fire truck. What do I do? I pull over. I'm pulling over. Right? The bus goes to the left. I go to the right. I'm moving over. Boom. That's where they sideswiped me. Right there. And then what do I do? Let's see what I do. Look, I pull over even more. I stop. I put my high beams on or whatever they're called. The hybrids? What are they called? The blinking lights? The panic lights? I get out. That's me. Mm-hmm. I get out, that's me with the silver hair right there. And I'm like, they hit my car, I took my camera out, that's you. And then I started freaking out. And then I saw that everybody was leaving and I ran back, I was like, any witnesses? That's not me, is it? No, that's not me, I'm still back there. You guys disappear yeah. and then I start to come. Hi, I'm sorry, just. Okay. Official police were, oh look, look, I run. I'm like, did anybody see it? Help, help. And this is when they stopped and I was like, did anybody see that? That's me. And I'm like, can you give me a witness testimony, please? They were there. Mm -hmm. They were there, everything is true. And there's proof on this camera that they came through. And I'm it's like 239.